Thank you, Jess. Jess. Hi, I'm a straight man. And this says Shakespeare has left the building. And Fun 
until the protagonist kills king, the protagonist is killed. Haven't you noticed? What? You see one Shakespeare play, you've seen them all. Isn't that ingenious? Uh, Tell me, Rob dear, who else in the school would have gone to this set of babies? Well... Who gets points of originality here, Rob? Um... Who, Rob dear? You... You are such a sweetheart. I can't understand how I even put up with you. Because you love me. Am I right, Rob darling? As for some mate to bear, and so are you! <laughs> <laughs> Unlike you, Rob, who settled for passing. Uh. Bob, what are you doing? To die. To sleep. <laughs> sleep. For a chance to dream. Whatever, Bob. <laughs>
So you're flattering me now, is that it? No. I think my copying of your work is the most original piece in this room. Yes, more original than your work, oh great plagiarist. You plagiarize. I think she was referring to you, Mr. Shakespeare. To <laughs> me, a plagiarist. How would have you know, Miss, that I ever plagiarize? What do you do then? I take mediocre material with promise and improve on it. <laughs> <laughs> How oh, very commercial. I would rather think of it as Midas Touch. Well, so is mine. Is that so? <laughs> Almost all your plays follow a pattern. Guy kills king, guy dies. That's all there is to it. That is? Types Andronicus, Macbeth, Hamlet, Julius Caesar. But that are just four plays. See one of them, and you've seen the four of them. Talk about anticlimactic. What's so anticlimactic about that? I don't know. It just sounded like a witty thing to say at the time. That's all. <laughs> Wait, what's so witty about that? It's beyond your comprehension, Rob. Especially when there's nothing to comprehend. Have you read the whole plays? I don't have to. That's what the synopsis are for. How can you be such on the nuances? Titus is pursuit for revenge. Hamlet's pursuit for revenge. See? But Hamlet does it out of a sense of duty. Same as Marcus Brutus. But what is Macbeth doing here? Oh, please. Because Macbeth's motive is ambition? What does motives have to do with anything? The result is the same. See? Why is there regret in the face of Macbeth? Titus and Hamlet. That's regret? I thought it was just a constipated look. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha See, behold, the artist who's not in touch with her artwork. Oh, now, that is a tragedy. Uh, well, I can pass it off as the guilt of killing another human being. Problem solved. Unbelievable. Oh, that was cheap. Why are you against me? Why do you keep arguing with the playwright? Why is he making such a big deal out of our work? Why are you making such a small deal out of mine? Do you not see the irony of this? This is an exhibit on me, and I am the one being marginalized. Oh, cut the drama. <laughs> Why are you going to stage all these? We wouldn't. What? Unbelievable. You have to understand, Mr. Shakespeare, this is just a class project for our literature class. We're just fulfilling class performance, and that's all. But these plays were written to be performed. Oh, but we do have a performance. Bob? <coughs> Bob, this is Mr. Shakespeare. He wants to see your performance. <laughs> <laughs> what in heaven's name is that? <laughs> Actually, Rob, that is King Lear. Wasn't he dancing with Hamlet a while ago? That was earlier. Now it's King Lear. How can you tell? Now that he put it down, that's a merchant of Venice. Or is it Othello? That's a big leap from Merchant of Venice to Othello, Vinny. They're both set in Venice, Rob. It's an easy mistake to make. So, As you like it. Unbelievable! That's not one of your plays. What have you done to my work? Oh, what men dare do! What men may do! What men dare do not knowing what they do! <laughs> Words. The, the lines of time. What is the point of all this? So long as men can breathe and eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to us. <laughs> yes. Look, even if you are Shakespeare, you don't get to vote on this exhibit. Why don't I pray? Because you're not the one grading us. What are grades? They are but blots of ink on paper. So is your work. <laughs> you think so? Shouldn't we be a little bit more considerate? Rob, that is so considerate of you. Why don't you just marry him? Blasphemy! How can you call it my work if you take out all the words I put there? Artistic license. Do I not have artistic license as well? The author is dead. You cut the umbilical cord the moment you finished writing your plays. What are you saying? In other words, your artistic license has already been revoked. Take my advice. Stay dead. Stay six feet under. Besides, your language is long and convoluted, your plots take forever to unfold, and nobody understands you anymore. The fact that you show up in more classrooms and theaters just goes to show that your work is already academic. Academic? I don't think it means what you think it means, Vinny. Who cares? Anyway, Billy, you should be thankful that your works aren't gathering dust where they should have. That's just plain foul, Vinny. Why do you keep defending him, Rob? Don't you love me? He's recognized it. What? William Shakespeare's wrecking my head. What do you think you are doing? What do you think I'm doing? You're ruining my posters! Really? I was doing.
doing an impermanent dance of an eye. <laughs> things like these in pubs. Pubs that were full of drunk cards and we would all have a jolly good time. And then a wise man thought that these plays would be nice to bring to class. <laughs> all right, all right. The tragedy, I get it. Tragedy. What do you mean, tragedy? The situation. It's tragic. Have they not taught you anything? Oh, let me correct that. They didn't. This is no tragedy. This is simply sad damnation. <laughs> I don't understand. Can you? All they have taught you is that tragedy is sad and comedy is happy. As if that's what it really meant, I'd kill myself if I weren't dead already. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help, Mr. Shakespeare. Can you at least not cry? Show a little heroic gesture. Let's leave the heroics in the books, Mr. Shakespeare, if you don't mind. Oh, but I do mind. Is there nothing sacred? There, Mr. Molasco! There he is! <laughs> William Shakespeare, <laughs> is it true that you are bullying this poor girl? No, of course not. Life. That girl is anything but poor. <laughs> so you admit to bullying her? I believe it was called self-defense. <laughs> in self-defense. Unbelievable. She started. You did not. Yes, you did. Who took another poster that me? Who made those posters to insult my work? Who wrote that work? Who told you to make those posters? That would be me. <laughs> <laughs> She said that the author is dead. And it's true. Tell him, Mr. Nolasco. Vinny's right. The author is dead. You are dead. In your case, even literally, if I might add. <laughs> but the moment you wrote your last line in the play, you have no more say. Are you trying to force a rhyme, sir? You're supposed to be witty. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that, my slanderous tongue. No, Bob, no. <laughs> now, don't change the topic. You are dead, and that's all there is to that. Tell me, do you really desecrate the dead? No, but the dead have no property anymore. Hence, what we do to that property is no concern of the dead anymore. Is that a fact? Yes. Ah, but that it's on stone. Ah, but it's written on paper. Show me! Vinny, get me my textbook. <laughs> Anything you say, Mr. Velasco, I'll be back before you can say the whirly gig of time. Well? Well, what? Say the whirly gig of time. <laughs> Sad. You don't get to order me around here. On what ground? I am a teacher in this school. What's <laughs> your name anyway? Rob, hand me a student handbook. Right away, sir. Unbelievable. I would think that it was a practical joke if it wasn't for those flying pigs. <laughs> and I can't believe you are William Shakespeare. I can't believe you're the one teaching my work. I don't care how good they say you are. You are rude. I don't care what you say to me. You are Hesana. Why are you repeating the first part of everything I say? Why do you? Ha! Now guess what I said. Put me up again on what grounds? You just tore down one of the students' posters. You are making a ruckus. You are disturbing our peace. I disturbing your peace. Well, what about my peace? Can you not see that I want to rest in peace? If you prick us, do we not bleed? <laughs> Mr. Shakespeare, now you're repeating the last part of everything I say. Oh, but I'm not merely repeating what you are saying. I am improving on it. Hold that thought. Come after me. Huh? The worthy gig of time. The worthy gig of. I'm back. <laughs> Vinny just saved you, and you are already getting to my nerves. Aha! See here. Where? Right there. Third paragraph. Third paragraph. Hey. 
Mm. Ah, what? My hand slipped! <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Oh, the author of this book cares not. But I'm not the author of the book. I'm the owner of it. The author is dead. Then you really have no need of these pages anymore, have you? <coughs> That's it. This means war. <laughs> I would have resorted to violence, but I think you should set on this legally. Legally? <laughs> so in the water, legally, you're referring to people work, if you put it that way. What is the charge, then? Aha! Mm -hmm. <gasps> the charge of vandalism. You shall be escorted out of school premises. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. This is all that's in the school premises. I have vandalized your work as you have vandalized mine. But you're forgetting one thing, Mr. Shakespeare. What is it that I'm forgetting? Only outsiders get escorted out of school premises. <clears throat> My ears must still be full of grave dirt then. Did I just hear you say that I am a subject of your school, and yet I'm not part of the school? Okay. It's not you who's the subject, it's your plays, your body of work. You, however, are the outsider. Can I make it any plainer for you? I believe you can. Your plays are part of the school, but you are not. So get out! <laughs> my plays are part of the school, but I'm not. But my plays are part of me! Quit stalling, Shakespeare, and get out! <laughs> you should have it right. I will no longer tolerate your conduct. Here, look at the handbook. <laughs>
Was it Shakespeare who asked us to build all this? No, it wasn't. That would be Mr. Nolasco's. Is it Shakespeare's class that we are taking up? No, it's not. It's Mr. Nolasco's. Who do you think would give us our grade? Not Mr. Shakespeare. It would be Mr. Nolasco. You see, Rob, it doesn't matter whether Shakespeare's right or wrong. Even if he's right, what can he do? We might agree with what he says, but it's still Mr. Nolasco who grades us. Is that your stand? What's the point of being right if a teacher's going to fail you anyway? What's all this learning for, then? What does learning have to do with grades? Answer me that, genius. You are unbelievable. Rob, where are you going? Come back here. A glooming peace this morning when it brings. The sun for sorrow will not show his head. Go hence and have more talk of these sad things. Some shall be pardoned and some punished. For well, never was a story of more woe than this of... Oh. Shut up, Bob. Just do your job. Oh, I'm... <laughs> Bang! Sounds like it was a shot of paint. Finally. If this were played upon a stage now, I could condemn it as an improbable fiction. Bob, I might as well tell you now that I never really liked your silly dance. It simply doesn't make any sense. Oh, this be madness! Yet there is method in it! 